Please welcome uh, to the podium at this time, Dr. Doug Dransfield. Wait, who got the film? Film? Oh, excuse me, we got that one minute film? Oh, I, they said they weren't doing it. Yeah, okay, I can do one minute. <laughs> can we point out somebody in the audience? Yes, could you tell us something? Me? Yes. Uh, I'm very thankful to be here in Auburn, Maine. I'm from Monterey at first. loved Maine. My parents in Vermont took us as children up to Spago Lake every single year since Spago began. That was the year that they married in 38. So really happy to be back here. Um, I have a daughter, my middle daughter, graduated from Bates 20 years ago and another daughter that graduated from Bowdoin. So when my partner and I moved back here to New England from 22 years in California, we selected Maine. And because of the nearness to Bates and Bowdoin, we, just, we stayed in this area. I actually had the good fortune, although I was almost 18 at the time, of meeting Dr. Lown at Grand Rounds at the Peter Van Brigham Hospital. I was a patient, and I developed complete heart block out of nowhere. And uh, they never figured out exactly where it came from. I suspected it could be Lyme's disease, but of course that didn't come into being until 10 years later. Very fortunate to be alive. Got my latest generator replaced in, uh, at the Mass General of Brigham and Women's in December last year of moving here. It was a routine, and the physician that performed that surgery, the EP specialist, graduated from Bates. Uh, I think 25 years ago. So there's a lot of small world. <laughs> My, uh, when I met Dr. Lau, was very briefly, he was, I remember the image, he was looming above me. And he was a very busy man, but I knew that my, my EP specialist at the time had great respect for him. I was very lucky to be alive. And I'll never forget him. And when I was working at the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, as a medical assistant, I ran into a patient who, he and his wife, they were having their first child. I looked at the last name of the patient. This was in 2006, I believe, or 2007. And the name was Axelrod. And I looked at the father. Mom was in the bathroom leaving a specimen. And I looked at the, the fellow. And I said, do you have any folks back east? He said, yeah, my dad is there. I said, is your dad Dr. Paul Axelrod? And sure, certainly it was. So really came full circle on the West Coast, and here I am back in Maine now. So I really am very happy to be here and coming to honor such a great pioneer 